For those of you riders who value staying safe out here on the street, who want to help prevent any injury should you go down, you might want to get a Helite Turtle 2 airbag vest that I'm getting ready to do a review on, and I'm going to tell you all about it. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Continue to leave video suggestions, but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. I like this airbag vest, man. I'll tell you, I thought it would be an issue, uh, you know, getting off the bike and having to remember to disconnect this tether here. But I'll tell you guys, I've, I forgot <laughs> already, and I tried to get off the bike with, uh, with it attached to me without taking it off. And I'll tell you, it just gave me a little tug, let me know, hey, it's there, remove it, and it didn't go off. Um, very easy to connect and disconnect. And uh, actually, it takes a good pull for it to activate and inflate the vest. It takes 60 pounds of pressure, actually. So you don't worry about getting off the bike and setting it off. As far as attaching the tether to your bike, you can attach it to either the frame rail or do like I did and attach it to the rear passenger pig bracket. And just make sure you adjust it correctly so that it's not too loose and not too tight. But one thing that's really awesome about this vest that I really like about it is that it can be set off six times without you having to send it to the manufacturer and you can reset it yourself with these CO2 cartridges here. It's only one CO2 cartridge uh, and a replacement costs about $25 or something like that. And uh, so fairly inexpensive to replace. You can redo yourself. And uh, it comes in high vis and black. Of course, on the streets, I recommend high vis. It has the, uh, the reflective stripes here. Uh, black, I could see maybe if you do track days, but for street, man, high vis is where it's at. Like I said, I've done a video, many videos on that in the past. You might want to go check out. This is a really comfortable vest. This airbag vest is very easy to adjust. It has a flap that opens up that exposes adjustable Velcro straps. And this vest allows for great airflow. You know, and I, I, in my opinion, I think everybody should get one of these. You know, I normally wear a neck brace, but I, I will tell you guys for dirt, you know, riding, uh, you know, dirt bikes off-road or dual sports off-road, uh, I would recommend that you wear a neck brace instead of this because with riding off-road, obviously there's a higher chance that you're going to uh, fall off your bike. You don't want to keep, in, you know, inflating your airbag vest what i like about this instead of wearing like an airbag uh, leather jacket is that you can wear any jacket you want underneath the vest oh yeah cycle cruiser never learns <laughs> oh baby i had to do that <laughs> Woo! oh baby have to feel that power <laughs> It was good, baby. I love it, I love it, I love it. Ah, I don't recommend doing that. <laughs> but if you're going to do that, you definitely want to wear an airbag vest to keep you safe out here on the streets, baby. Uh, like I said, I go in the industrial areas when I want to do a little quick thrust here and there. I'm not trying to be a uh, street Rossi out here, you know. <laughs> not trying to get any knee slide action but uh yeah this airbag vest is uh i like it man i really like it um i've seen many testimonials i did a lot of research and guys say hey man this thing really works people have crashed out there high side low sides the thing activates uh it immobilizes your head neck and spine and it helps protect your sternum ribs uh, pelvis and hips and uh, it just inflates all around you where the vest is and it helps like I said it helps immobilize helps immobilize your neck uh, like the like the neck brace dang I wish I was on my uh, my dual sport right there man so I can get some jump action <laughs> oh man oh well <laughs> oh baby Woo! 
<laughs> oh baby slow it down slow it down now make sure you no copper so i got my ways up here baby showing some points where cops are and they're not around here <laughs> i like that ways app too baby thumbs up Woo! you have some fun on there pretty now baby just gotta be careful though still gotta be smart but uh and it's not smart to speed out here guys you know you know but you know some of you know it's hard to with restrain the inner hooligan and all of us have it <laughs> even my uh 93 year old grandmother <laughs> she got busted for speed man so some of you guys are concerned that uh that you can't wear a backpack with it and you can you uh that was my number one concern and i contacted the manufacturer and he said yeah you can wear one he said but you want to um you want to wear it loose you know and you probably don't want to wear one with a chest strap and a you know a waist strap and i wear mine really loose because you want to give it the vest some freedom to expand you don't want to restrict it man so honestly it's probably best not to wear a backpack but if you are like i said like like me just wear very loose this is just a regular backpack so you just want to be careful with that also another thing that's great about this vest is that it has a uh, ce armor level 2 back protector in the back so god forbid this thing doesn't inflate which i'm sure is extremely rare uh you still have that that back protector back there protecting you. so i like that. that that's amazing man and uh also what i like about this is that it's mechanical it has the tether so it activates by the tether you know you know pulling on the cord as soon as you get ejected and uh it inflates as where some of the other airbag vests and jackets are are uh you know electronic where you have to worry about the battery being charged up and then you have to rely on the computers being accurate uh you know i don't put my full trust <laughs> in electronics and uh, you know i'm sure i'm sure that those you know the other electronic airbag vests and jackets are good don't get me wrong i have i'm not i'm not talking down on them i'm just saying for me personally i would rather have something that's mechanical that i know is going to work uh that i can trust that when i that cord pulls it's going to release that uh, inflate my vest and i don't have to worry about charging batteries too on top of that and also like i said guys this can be inflated six times so before you have to send it back to the manufacturer now if you crash with this vest uh and it looks like it has some scrapes maybe that it you know affected the material where it may have an issue you know inflating next time you may want to obviously you want to send it into the manufacturer and have them check it out uh before you you know before you use it again you know some of the other airbag vests and jackets uh you have to after it if you crash with it the very first time you have to send it to the manufacturer and then you have to wait a period of time to get it back and then uh so that could be an irritation you know because you won't have an airbag jacket or vest uh meanwhile while you're waiting for the uh for it to come back and as far as the price you know yeah it's kind of it's it's in my opinion for what you get with this jacket where it can protect <laughs> keep you from having a, a real fucked up day oh yeah baby <laughs> Woo! you know you can't put a price on safety guys seriously you can't put a price on your safety because should you go down without this airbag vest and you incur a lot of damage to your back spine whatever and you you go to the hospital you can end up with a whopper hospital bill and if you're like me and have high deductible insurance you know you're gonna be paying a lot of money if you don't have insurance you're really gonna be paying a whole lot of money so this vest i'm sure can pay for itself after probably the very first crash hopefully you won't have a crash but if you do you're going to want to have this airbag vest on i highly recommend everybody get one man most definitely like i said do your research check the reviews out there there's riders out there to crash with it and they swear by it and i believe them and that's why i got one guys i highly recommend it uh link to get this is in my other gear 
is in the description and comment section of my videos. Uh, also, this carbon fiber helmet is really awesome. Really lightweight, feels good, comfortable, doesn't fog up at all. I highly recommend that too. But all of my gear, uh, you can go to my website at cyclecruiser.com, click on the menu tab, my gear, and that's links to all of my gear and stuff. Big thumbs up, check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.